Ending Medicare? Oh. It feels great to be home, to look out in this audience and see all these folks, old friends, new friends. Uh, it's just wonderful. So thank you so much for taking time on your Saturday morning for coming out. What we just did, I think, is kind of symbolic of the first 100 days because what we just did was we respected our elders. Right. Um, and I think respect for our elders is a basic value of our country. It's certainly a value of this district, but it is not a value of the new Congress. And I just have to say that someone that would put out a budget that would call for ending Medicare and thinking that it's okay to end Medicare if you just say, if you're 55 and under, it's not going to affect you. I mean, if you're 55 and over, it's not going to affect you. So what I told Paul Ryan is, he said, well, I'm glad he took care of my generation, but he threw his own generation under the bus. I don't know how that's okay, but I think it's symbolic of the new Congress. So anyway, in terms of uh, what is happening, um, as a new member of Congress, I've now been there a full five months, and um, I was given a, a great deal of responsibility. Uh, leadership within the Democratic Caucus, um, former speaker, soon to be speaker again, Pelosi, uh, asked me to represent the mighty freshman class. You know we have over 90 members in our freshman class. And until last week, there were only nine of us that were Democrats, but we picked up another seat. So we went from the noble nine to the tenacious ten. <laughs> so representing that large group of nine, I sit on the um, steering and policy committee, which is the leadership body for the Democratic Caucus. Um, major um, Democratic Whip Hoyer asked me to be an assistant whip. And so, uh, you know, when I was in Sacramento, I did serve as majority whip, so I do know the whip's job, and the whip's job is to make sure that Democrats are voting the way that they should vote, or at least find out how they're going to vote. Um, they assigned me to the budget committee, and to be honest with you, I fought this assignment for three days, because <laughs> coming from Sacramento, it's like the last thing I wanted to do was be on the budget committee. I'm like, what did I do to deserve this? But <laughs> But I do have to say that once I was there, I understood why they wanted me to be there after I settled down, because the budget committee is where the fights take place, and as far as I'm concerned, it's where the fight over the soul of our nation takes place. Uh, they also assigned me uh, to foreign affairs. I did ask for that assignment, uh, which is very nice, uh, especially considering who our district is. But uh, for those of you who have known me for longer than 20 years, you know that foreign policy is a very uh, big interest of mine. I was very active in the anti-apartheid movement and the solidarity movements around uh, Central and Latin America in the 70s and 80s. Um, and so being on those two committees are my major assignments. I'm, I also serve on the subcommittee in foreign affairs on Africa. Um, and then in terms of issues that you know that I have worked on for many, many years, uh, the issue of foster care, I'm continuing that work. Um, I started a, a caucus, you know, uh, the committee I need to be on to work on foster care is the Ways and Means Committee, but I don't have the seniority to be on that committee. So, you know what organizers do, if you can't get what you want, you just make it up, right? So I... <laughs> So, so I formed a, a committee on foster care uh, in the house, and uh, we're beginning, we're just getting started. I've recruited my um, uh, Republican colleague uh, as a co-chair, and, um, and now I'm, you know, looking at other Republican members uh, and Democratic members to put on this caucus. And the long-range goal that I want to uh, work on, hoping to serve in Congress for a while is really the transformation of the foster care system. How do we look at it and redo it in a way that it actually helps our children and not hurts them? And so uh, that would be a long-term focus.